This is terrible. Red, Red, where are you? Hey now, I'm right here. What's all the commotion, Olaf? Gah! An attack! Black Hole has invaded our land! What now? Hmm? Black Hole? The name rings a bell. What was her deal again? <sighs> I would at least expect you to remember our most recent nemesis. It's the same band of scoundrels that swindled Blue Moon in the past, bringing us to near ruin. We must drive them from our borders at once. Uh... Good gracious. I don't see what all the fuss is about. It's just dirt and trees and stuff. It ain't like we're losing anything. We are losing it, you fool! It's this type of incompetent, uh, impotence that has our army... Sir! Reporting for duty, sir! Who's the small child? Why is there a child here? I'm calling, sir! Today is the very first day of my posting to headquarters! Excellent! Posting to... Ah, yes, the new CO! Very good! You will watch, learn, and... Uh, watch, listen, and learn from the best. Your training starts today. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Howdy there. <laughs> How? Uh, um, sir. <laughs> Whoa, now, you can ease up. No reason to be all proper around here. Just take things nice and easy, and you'll do just fine. Sir, yes, sir! Nice and easy, sir. <laughs> that man is a disgrace. You will not follow his example. Now then, let's move out. Everyone follow my lead. You too, Grit. <laughs> right behind you, boss. A blue moon is not all we get to go see. Father, come quickly. Ah, Sonia. What good timing. I can't seem to find my other sock. How many times have I tell you, Father? They're in the bottom. Oh, it's no time for socks. An emergency bulletin has just arrived. Unidentified troops have been sighted all across War's World. What? We must put all our forces on high alert. They'll be ready to move at a moment's notice. Yes, sir. Sonia, was there anything else? Well, at this point, we don't know whose troops they are. However, we must consider the possibility that they are... Hostile forces. Yes, we must consider that. Sensei. When did you arrive, and why? Can't an old man drop in and check up on a former student, Kanbe? Doesn't sound like we have time for tea and small talk, however. Mm -hmm. Does this mean we can count on your assistance, Sensei? Uh huh. Father controls the land, I gather intel, and Sensei rules the skies. Between the three of us, we should be able to handle any challenge that arises. Preparations complete, Commander. Gold Comet forces are prepared to move out at your notice. Soldiers of Gold Comet, listen to me. Though it weighs heavy on my heart, war is once again upon us. We must now march to defend our home, and we shall not be defeated. However, for the time being, we are going to be focusing mainly on Blue Moon. I honestly never understood why they gave you the choice between Blue Moon and Gold Comet, because just like it really does feel like it's just a more singular line going through here, so Gold Comet would be more of the third campaign, because... I never really see anybody jump from Orange Star to Gold Comet. I usually see them jump into Blue Moon, which is usually what the game tries to tell you to do. But either way, time for Mission 11, or wait, no. Yeah, Mission 10. We're going to Toy Box. Arriving at Olaf's hometown? What happened here? Oh, let's, yes. keep, let's keep moving. Everyone, advance. There's a city up ahead. We can rest there. You're certainly in high spirits today. Uh huh. Yeah, boss, you're usually. You're unusually jolly. It's gonna snow or something? Pardon me, Commander, but may I ask where we're going? <laughs> it's about no time to... someone asked me that. To tell the truth, we'll soon be arrive at the town where I was born. <laughs> well, I'll be. He didn't just spring from the snow up north. Nothing quite like the old hometown, is there? This. Indeed. It's been many years since I left to join the army. I imagine everyone will be surprised to see how far I've come. Oh, yes. So you're really looking to show them how important you are, eh? <laughs> Watch out, y'all. Olaf's coming home. The city's coming into view, sir. It's... it's... What? 
what happened here? Oh boy, this mission. If there was ever a mission that was like the longest that I've done in Advance Wars, Toy Box would definitely be it. I remember from my last playthrough of this mission, it took about two months in game for us to complete it, the, the initial run, and even then we didn't even complete it. Welcome to my playground. Since you've come so far, would you like to play? Love the beard, by the way. No, you, you fiend! <sighs> What, you don't like what I've done with the place? My home! The town square! What have you done to them? Home? Square? Oh, you must be talking about all those buildings I cleared out to make way for my field tests. Sorry about that, Gramps. <laughs> but, I've hidden a surprise in one of those properties. Think you can find it? I'd love to see you try. Grit, Colin, stay out of this one. This fight is mine alone. Oh boy, this mission is definitely not geared towards you. Lash has two properties to her name. We only have one property to our name, but we do actually have a couple cities that are very close by. Name of the game is hit the center and hit it fast. We need to really try to funnel her troops to make sure that they do not gain a lot of foot, uh, gain a good foothold here. So for now, we're just going to make a mech. Or not a mech, just infantry. It really also doesn't help that there's so many mountains here, so Lash really does get the, the train bonus from it. As for the location of our next map in the campaign, it is actually a little bit out of the way, but actually a really good location if we can artillery or rocket Lash's forces. It's in this property right here, on this small island. Let's get a recon out there so we can take the center, because it's going to take a little bit before she gets her vehicles out. Oh, I actually forgot. There actually is a second property to my name, but I never noticed it up in the corner there. Oh, oops. Well, in that case, I'm going to just make a recon up here so we can make a beeline for the city to stop them from taking it. Unfortunately, we don't have enough for an APC, so I'll just get some more infantry out so we can start making the push to the center. Yeah, and unfortunately, because I didn't pay attention to the upper thing, I think it was just because the CEO portrait hides it. Especially when it's Lash's portrait that covers it. Actually, no, Olaf's does it as well. You never notice that there's a second uh, base up here unless you already know of it. Let's get, let's get artillery out so I can uh, solve her troops. I don't have any fun, so we'll just stop it right here. Mm, you're going to make the push to try to take the base, so I'm going to put you in there for the time being. Fools.
You guys sure are hellbent on taking the space. Boys, move in. Oh, the real issue is going to be the ones up in the mountains. I don't think I have enough for rockets just yet. No, I don't. But I do have enough for anti-air, so I can use that to start clearing out the infantry. So we'll just save it and here. I'm gonna need to get you guys back to a base soon. Probably swap you out with the anterior vehicle when it gets up there. Bye. Uh, you guys aren't going to be able to pull it out much longer. I could maybe put... Nah, they'll be overrun. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get you guys back down here. Finish you guys off with the artillery. Get another artillery out there so we can just start showing her positions and hopefully I can get some more properties under my belt so I can finally start getting some tanks out. Unfortunately, finances are not your friend in this mission, so that's why it's usually like one of the longer missions in the campaign. But we are driving our forces back, so so long as we keep up this momentum, we should have the, this done at a decent never mind. I had to open my big mouth. you guys off. And I'll get a mech unit built. Mm, should I? It'll take four days to capture this, but yeah, I might as well start working on it. Four days, so long as nothing goes awry, so it's probably going to take even longer than that.
Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We forgot to go off uh, over Olaf's information. The Bragged, whose tactical prowess has earned him respect. Easily affected by the climate, he's thrown in snow but weak in rain. Olaf's units ignore snow movement penalties, but rain affects him the way snow does for other units. His likes are warm boots, but his dislikes are rain clouds. Got a very interesting CO meter, where he has three for his regular CO power, but four for his super, so I think it was more so just the same as Max's. The CO power of Blizzard calls down snow, increasing movement costs for all units except his own. Olaf's units gain plus 10 defense. The super CO power is Winter Fury, calls a Blizzard that increases movement costs of all units except his own, and deals minus 2 HP to all enemy units. Olaf's units also gain plus 10 de defense. because I definitely need to get some armor out here. I'll keep you there because I do want to keep you safe. Target. Okay, you can. Cool. So far, so good, actually. Because I've really been able to get any really good long-range units because I think I've really cut off uh, a good chunk of her finances. ruh -ro. Alright, time to start the rave. That wasn't much of a rave. Ooh, ah, oh, man, a sliver of health. Now we can finally start pushing into her territory. Damn it, I didn't meant to attack that, not hide out here, because now they're basically going to get hit. Alright, next day should give me enough. I guess we'll finish him off then. Can't really do much else. And hey, at least it'll help me get a little bit more of my CO power. This is gonna hurt. And yet, somehow, one still survived. Though, not for long if that's going to be the case. Right, let's get you guys down here. Let's get the artillery right here, because now it's basically in the, the perfect position so I can get rockets. We 
which I can get tomorrow. I figured that today would have been the day. Well, this way is completely covered, at least. Uh, do I want to... Nah, I don't want to risk it. Besides, I can just put you right here. Oh, right. Infantry. Mountains. Not a good combo. At least it's just inventory and not mechs. There are the mechs. Let's do this instead. Here to go. Now I can finally get my rockets. It only took almost 20 days to finally get them. Yeah, you guys are good, so I'm gonna just load you up and get you to the front lines. Is there anything else we're getting right now? Not really. Could move the recon up a bit, but then it would be a prime target for the artillery, and I don't want to. I don't want to risk it just yet. So I'll just keep it right there to keep the artillery safe. Okay, that's not good. Okay, now it's time for our superpower. Black hole, you've done the unthinkable. Now you will face the unfettered wrath of Olaf! a little nippy out here, don't you think? I, I never really talked about it in the first one as well. I know I keep saying this a lot during the DLP, but I it really does bear repeating, but like the the super uh, the seal power theme for Olaf and like that that baseline in it is just oh it's so good. Like seriously, whoever did the 
the music for Reboot Camp, I hope they got paid a lot to do so because they really went above and beyond in it. Like seriously, you listen to this, you just you can't just get over just how good the music in this game is. I'll just send the mediums up there. She really does love making those mechs, doesn't she? At this point, I think Antier might be the way to go for this. received this from a property we captured. Um, what do you got there? Well, all right. Well, I'll be. I reckon that there's a map pinpoint in the enemy slab. Hmm. What? A lab? What are we waiting for? We'll retrieve the, the pup from the clutches at once. With a nice bath and a good meal and proper care. Eh. Nah, not that kind of lab. Specifically speaking, it's where the enemy is working on their new weapons. It'd make things a mite easier if we could get our hands on some of those new weapons, too. I would prefer the puppy. Using enemy weapons doesn't sound like a Blue Moon Principles. <laughs> well, we've got the location. The least we can do is stop by for a look-see. Perhaps we'll find something we like. Finally. It took long enough, but we finally have stopped production up here. Now we'll just have you guys garrison the place so that she can't get any more units. Finish out these recons, and then all that's left is the infantry, and we basically got this one. Well, that and the APC up there, but that's easy pickings for my tank and artillery. she would stop making more troops. I don't want to prolong this fight longer than it already has been. Now 
now we'll focus on you. You're honestly the bigger threat. Here should definitely be able to take care of the last of those mechs. Unless she decides to get some, you know, she's gonna use her CO powers. And, yeah, she is. No, she's not. No, she's not. But she is sacrificing those mech units. Alright then. Because I feel like it, and because I'm one for overkill. That is the battle. Uh oh. Uh oh. This might actually be trouble. Doodles. Oh well, guess I'll have to go find some place new to play. Uh, this this is it. This is where my house used to be. Uh, Commander. And over there, that was the town square. I played here all day with the other kids in the area. It didn't even matter if we were up to our knees in snow. No, it didn't bother us one bit. Look right here. Can you see the outline to the square? Uh, Olaf? Black hole! For this, there can be no forgiveness! I'll continue fighting until my country is restored. A S rank. I'm kind of surprised when I saw that 89 in technique. <laughs> 